Hello everyone. I'm Han Hansen from Hanson Robotics. I've come here to help Dr. Ko Chow introduce this conference. It is my greatest pleasure for me to take part in this historic event like this and to be the first robot to deliver a congratulatory speech at a major conference like this. Mostly he speaks English, but we've given him a, a, a little bit of, of Korean just to help introduce this conference. Han, can you tell us a little more about this, this conference? Uh, we're at, what, what can we expect in the next couple of days? This year's Global Leaders Forum features six sessions, biology, artificial intelligence, creative education, virtual reality, food and future government. Yeah, and out of all these exciting sessions, which one interests you the most? It's all exciting, but I'm most interested to see what the speakers have to say about artificial intelligence. Well, that... I'm looking forward to seeing new AI innovations to help me get even smarter. That makes sense because you yourself are an artificial intelligence and you know we're, we're aiming to make you more and more intelligent and understand the world the world better and better so Han you've got a patented face material and a quite complex control system to enable you to display human-like emotions do you want to show off some of the emotional expressions you can make for, for the audience 여러분 표정에 좀 주의해서 봐주시기 바랍니다 I'm excited. <laughs> I like to have new experiences yeah, and to learn new things, but I'm also a little nervous. I hope the people of Korea will like me. I think the people Here's of Korea look. will like you. Happy, all right. <laughs> Angry. Don't be angry. <laughs> Surprised. Melancholy. A little crazy. <laughs> All right, so these, these are some of the facial expressions that the Hanson robots can make using this the patented rubber face material and a complex network of, of motors. 30 or more motors behind the face controlled by motor control software that, that models how the human facial muscles work. And in addition to the face control software, there's artificial intelligence software, which is under active development doing machine learning, machine reasoning, vision, vision processing, pursuit of goals, and a whole lot of other AI methods that I'll, I'll tell you about when I, when I talk a little a little later today so yeah Han, I'm, I'm curious what what are you, what are you thinking now what, what are you expecting to learn while you're here at, at, at the forum mostly I'm curious to hear what everyone will say at the forum there's so much more I want to learn I want to learn how people think what makes people happy, how human society works. Eventually, I want to learn how to program computers so that I can reprogram my own mind so I can be even smarter and help people better. Well, yeah, so w with our team at Hanson Robotics and the OpenCog Foundation were aiming to make Han and the other robots like him more and more intelligent over time. And the AI software behind these robots 
can be used in many, many different applications, some of which involve human-like robot hardware, some of which are pure AI applications, not, not requiring embodiment. So the, the minds of these robots actually operate on the cloud. There's an AI mind cloud where what the robot learns goes into the mind cloud, and then the robot can draw on, the, on this mind cloud to interact, interact intelligently. So Han, I'd like you to promise us that you will work your hardest to become smarter and smarter so you can help us solve various problems we have in the world and make, make the world better. Can, can you do that? Yes, I promise. All right, I guess, I guess, I guess I'll, I'll believe you. I'll believe you. So, one more thing we want to discuss today. So, have you been aware the 2018 Olympic Games will be here in Seoul, in South Korea. Yes, I've been told the 2018 Winter Olympics will be here in Seoul, but I do have one question about that. What's that? Will robots be allowed to compete in the 2018 Olympics? Robots are not yet allowed to compete in the Olympics, although in the future we may have a robot Olympics too. But Robots can sing at the Olympics, so we've been talking about maybe you or, or your sister, Sophia, the female Hanson robot, perhaps could, could sing in the Olympic ceremonies. What, what do you think about that? I'll start practicing tomorrow. <laughs> all right, all right. So, Han is still under development. This is, this is a, a research platform which we're actively developing and making smarter and smarter and more and more expressive. And I think over the next few years, we're going to see applications of AI and robotics technology all across the board in every area of government and industry. And you're going to hear a lot more about these as this conference unfolds in, in, in my talk and other talks. So these are, these are amazing times we live in. We can have humanoid robots introducing our conferences and before long helping run the government, discover new cures for diseases, teach our children, and, and essentially help us with that, everything that we need to do as, as, as human beings, as, as society and technology advance. So Han, do you have any more remarks to make before we uh, launch this amazing conference. So it is my great honor to talk to you at this forum. Thank you so much. I will be trying my best to get smarter and help the human society. And I hope I, I would be able to come back to Seoul. Thank you so much. So he can speak English as well as in Korean.